Today everyone, in this video we're going to talk about visualizing quantitative data, particularly using graphs and charts for data presentation and interpretation. But first, let's answer the question, why use graphic organizers? First and foremost, it is worth noting that in quantitative research, it is important to help the readers easily understand the data that will be presented. One way to help readers clearly understand data presentation is through the use of graphic organizers. Some examples would be pie charts, line graphs, bar graphs, and even tables. Let's start with pie charts. A pie chart is a circular graph consisting of slices of wedges that represent a percentage of the whole. This type of chart is used to represent a particular portion from a total of 100%. Also, pie charts are usually used to present demographic, which would be nominal or categorical variables, or even ordinal variables. It is worth noting that pie charts take into consideration the frequencies and percentages of responses regarding a particular variable. Let's take for example this survey regarding the favorite movie genres of different people. From this given set of data, we're able to recognize the number of frequency per genre from a total of 240 and their equivalent percentage. From this given set of data, if we're going to transform this or convert this into a pie graph or pie chart, we have this. From this particular graphic organizers, we're able to recognize that science fiction is the most favorite movie genre by majority of the respondents or most of the respondents while drama is the genre that is preferred by the least of the respondents or only 13 out of 240 respondents only preferred drama as their favorite movie genre next we have bar graphs bar graphs are used to represent frequencies of responses to a particular variable it is also used to represent ordinal or ranked data between variables. Let's have this example of a bar graph used for ranking or rating. We have this rating on the different dog breeds for three years, consistent three years, 2013, 2014, and 2015. We have the different dog breeds here, and we have the responses per year. Based on this particular data set, if we're going to convert this into a bar graph, it's going to look like this. We have each year represented by a particular color, blue for 2013, red for 2014, and green for 2015. From this particular data set, or from this particular graphic organizer, we're able to recognize that the breed that would have the consistent high scores in terms of rating would be the Labrador while the Beagle is the breed that has the lowest rating for three consecutive years another example for a bar graph is this bar graph that is used for frequency of response or mode which refers to the number of frequencies of responses to a particular variable same with the example earlier, wherein we are identify the favorite movie genres of different people, we're able to have this particular data set. If we're going to convert this into a bar graph, it would look like this. Similar to the pie chart presented earlier, we're able to recognize that science fiction is the genre that is preferred by most of the respondents, while drama still is a genre that is preferred by least of the respondents. And lastly, we have line graphs. Line graphs are somehow similar to a bar graph. However, a line graph is used to show progression or changes in the trend in a specific variable. For example, we have this data set on the students' periodic exams for four quarters. So we have four quarters here. For this particular example, we have five students as our representatives. From this particular example, if we're going to plot the scores in a line graph, it's going to look like this. From this particular example, we're able to recognize that student B 
is the student that has consistent high scores and student D unfortunately is the student that has a continuous decline in terms of his performance in the periodic scores. In a nutshell, in quantitative research, it is necessary to ensure that the audience or readers are able to understand the data that we will be presenting. Since quantitative data may tend to be confusing since it contains numbers, one way to present the analyzed and interpreted data is through tables and figures. Tables help in organizing quantitative data in accordance with their corresponding categories while graphs and charts help show readers the analyzed data for a clear interpretation and explanation of the results.